Welcome everybody, this is Nightsaber Z42, and this is episode 2 of This War of Mine. Last time, it was just me trying to get a feel for how things are run in the game, and I think I'm a little bit more confident to continue, and where we just left off, so let's see. Let me get my bearings straight, because it's been a couple of days since I recorded the, the first episode. Day two. Hmm. I'm pretty, I thought I already went through this, but I could be mistaken. No, I'm fairly certain that I already went through this. So, we had somebody that was wounded. Yeah. Pav was wounded. And he never... Okay, so he's gonna do that. Um, are we all hungry? Is that a thing? Slept poorly. Yeah, I've already done this, so... Sorry for the repeat and all this. Uh, if I'm correct, I had a stove. I made a stove, and so we're going to make the stove. We're going to get all this debris cleared out. We're going to make another... Uh, actually, I don't think I have another bed. I could make another bed, so we'll get the... Crude stove. We'll go ahead and make that. And we'll put that over here next to our fridge. And we'll place that there. Uh, you know what? I'll give him the opportunity to go ahead and rest. He's going to be making the food for us here shortly. Go ahead and patch yourself up. Um, before we go into the night cycle, I'm going to feed all three of my dudes in the house so I want him really you're not gonna you're not gonna oh okay he just slept poorly so he's not actually tired okay that totally makes sense uh oh uh oh no you cannot oh great he's slightly sick okay so what we're going to do uh, I want him to start clearing that debris with him. Actually, you know what? No, we're gonna wait on that. He's got his wounds all dressed up. We're gonna check down here and see what we can else we can clear out. Uh, Marco will come up here and clear that barricade up. <clears throat> okay, so he's gonna dig that. Let's see what's there. Let's see. It's locked, okay. Um, what do we want to make? We need to have a plan so when we go out tonight, we know exactly what to get, what we need to get. A crowbar, okay. I'm pretty sure I don't have a crowbar yet, so that's something that we're gonna want. I think that's also what I made last time. So let's see if we can make a crowbar. We can make a crowbar. Uh, we're gonna need three weapon parts for our knife. And that's something that we're going to want to get as well. So we'll use our components here to make the crowbar. That way we should be able to unlock some of this stuff. Bruno will go on ahead and check this cabinet. It too is locked. So we have quite a few locked areas, which I'm not very happy about. Is there anything that we want to make in our normal bench? Okay, so you know what? We're going to start unlocking some of this stuff now that we have our crowbar. And if only I could remember what was in those, because I'm pretty sure we opened those in the last episode as well. So, my fault for not knowing that it, if we leave the game, it'll give us back to the day. Okay, we no longer have any more components for our second bed. We only need three components for the bed. So, we'll want uh, maybe a rainwater collector so we can make some water. Uh, that seems logical, but we are also going to need some components. Components, components. Uh, heaters for when it gets cold. So yeah, we're gonna need components all around uh, Check what oh no, we already know what we can make there 
Other than that, is he my good cooker? He is my good cooker. So what we'll do, we'll have him come up here to the cooker. And we'll have him start making some meals. <clears throat> what do we have? Okay. He's going to make our cooking stuff. So we'll use... How much do we need here? We need two. Okay. So we're going ahead and make two. We have books, and we'll have him open up the other cabinet. Okay, now we'll cook two meals. And then we'll have him make one more meal. As soon as our two gentlemen eat up. Oh, I could have had him unlock that. That'll do for now. So. The reason why we're going to want the knife, because uh, there's going to be a possibility where we can be attacked. Okay, we got medicine, some fresh water, and more books. So we'll definitely have some bartering material. Lucky it's not cold in here. Yeah, it's only 16 degrees Celsius, which is not freezing temperature. Oh, man. I didn't have Marco, but he is also slightly sick, so what I need to do for him, I need him to quickly make some fuel. I'll have to make that. Oops. There's no... Ah, uh, okay. Time does go by pretty quickly, so my bad. It's time for the night cycle. Ah, uh. <clears throat> excuse me. Okay, so we're gonna have him sleep. Marco sleep in the bed. We'll have Pavla be our scavenger for tonight, and we will have Bruno stand on guard. And what we'll do, we'll have them rotate with our bed for now. So somebody will be sleeping in the morning and then somebody will be sleeping in, in the afternoon. And that should keep them rested. We'll go back to the shell cottage because I'm pretty sure that there's still stuff that we can get. We've already done all the shoveling so we'll just take the crowbar. Okay. So there's stuff out here. Oh, anybody still notice that dead body up there? Okay. I did too. And our goal, we're going to want as many components as we can get. So we're going to grab all this. Let's go ahead and go inside. Hopefully nobody spawns inside. I didn't quite check to, clear, to see if maybe any other scavengers could be in here. Um, we'll take the clean water. And that'll be it. We don't want the sugar or the medicinal herbs just yet. Take the water. Oh, okay. No, don't want that. No, don't want that. Okay. Uh, is there anything that we can get down here? Okay, let's go right upstairs. I'm gonna be so scared if there was like a guard, a soldier around here. Oh man, I'll be like freaking out and all that. Okay, so we'll have to use a crowbar, and the crowbar does uh, de degenerate over time. A rolled up cigarette. Herbal medicine. Ooh. So you can right click to shell casings, gunpowder, ammunition, which we don't need. Some stuff they help, some stuff they don't. Yeah, we're going ahead and take the medicinal herbs or the little capsules from Resident Evil or whatever. Oh, what's here? We need some components, bro. Find me some components. It's timber. 
If nothing else, we will take the timber because we could always use the timber to bake ourselves some more things. But I think more than anything, we're going to need some components. Oh, yep, yeah, there's that room up there that we didn't get to unlock last time, so. And I still got my crowbar, which is nice. What's here? What's, what do we have in here? Components? Yes, awesome. We'll take two components, or two stacks worth of components, and we'll be on our merry way. Actually, we will unlock this because I need to see what's here in case we want to come back for something that we need. And that way we don't have to take anything else from, take anything else with us here next time. Ooh, a magnifying glass. What do we see? One of the flies dropped on the city. It reads, this is a zone of anti-terrorist operation. Persons remaining in the city will be treated as terrorist supporters. For your own and your family's safety, leave Pogorin immediately. The army guarantees you a safe passage. Not many believe them after the atrocities they had committed. Hmm. So the government is totally being a douchebag, as we can see. What do we have here on the floor? Awesome, more components. But I feel like I would also need the wood as well, so uh, I'm more inclined to take this healthy stack of components and wood. But it's nice to know that there's some more components that we can loot here as well, which we will definitely make use of. Uh, coffee. Oh, sorry, but we need these two, and this is electric parts. This is a shelter. You know what? Let's drop this and we'll take our jewelry. Because we never know what we could trade that for. And I think we'll just check out here, what's out here, and then we'll be on our way. So we still have plenty of time, but I mean, there's nothing much else to do. Our backpack is full of things that we really want. Little goodies and goodies and stuff. Can't scavenge during combat. But it's nice to see that it actually shows the uh, the duration of the cool one. Or not the duration, but the... Uh, it's not stamina. Oh, great. I'm not thinking. What do we have? Oh, gun part. Awesome. So we have enough guns to make the... Or enough parts to make the knife, which we will definitely go back and do. So let's head on out. And we'll call this an episode. Pavlet is back. Let's see what happened in the night. Day number three. Hello, look at all this stuff. I wish I could bring so much every night. Well, I wish I could bring more, so there you go. This is what we got. And this is going to be an episode. So thank you so much for watching the episode 2 of This War of Mine. I really am going to enjoy this game. I can tell very much so. So check the annotations at the end of this video for my Facebook and my Twitter. Sorry. What? That doesn't make any sense. Check the description in the video for my Facebook and my Twitter. Check the annotations to subscribe to my channel and for the playlist of This War of Mine as well as some other playlists of videos that I have done. So thank you so much for watching. I will see you in the next video.